good afternoon it's nola i've been shopping again so i'm going to show you what i picked up this time um i'll make some room here and i picked up a couple of packages and i haven't had a chance to open them so just bear with me so this is one package and I thought this was such a pretty cotton, this green. So there's not a lot of it, just the pieces. So I picked that up. And this one, I like the color of that fabric. And it's kind of neat too and that it's kind of like a i don't know if you can pull out the strings on that but it's such a pretty color so you know a little bit here a little bit there really adds something nice to a book and the last one is this one and of course, this is Roxy's favorite, Roxy Car 11. And then some of this in blue. And isn't that pretty? Very nice. And then some of this blue sparkly stuff. So those were just some bits I picked up to put in together. I'm going to do some packages with just fancier fabrics I think I don't know I have all these plans anyway so then I found this scarf and I thought wouldn't that be cute put around a page or something I mean adorable so there was that one and this one so I got both of them thinking this one's even cuter because it's got a scalloped edge on it. But um, I thought that would look really, really fun on a on a page. And of course, this po color is very popular. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. So there's those two. And... Then I also found this scarf here. It's got this nice trim on the end of it. It's supposed to do that. It goes in and out. But um, And then it's got these lovely colors to it. So I liked all of those very much. So I picked those up. And here's another one while I'm showing the scarves. I found this one as well. And I really like the gray and white. And then I, I just, I love the trim that's on it too. So, very cute. So anyways, I picked those up. Lots of scarves. Lots and lots of scarves. I could have a whole video of just scarves I've picked up. So then I picked up another one of these. Now I had um, I had a bunch of this in different sizes and when I went back this one was there as well. Sorry about the video it just it's just gonna do that. So anyway, this one, I haven't got the new camera yet. I don't know what's going on. But, um, so anyway, I found another one of these, so I picked that up as well. So there's that. Then I found this doily set. And there's that one and that one and that one so i thought that was really cute and then there's a small 
tablecloth. Just a, more like a teacup. And uh, this is the pattern on that one, which is really nice too. I like that. Very indicative of the prairie with all the wheat on it. So, yeah, so I like that one too. So then I found this dress. Now, I am willing to sell this one if somebody wants it. It is a size 14. And it's by uh, David's Bridal. And it's got this beautiful skirt on it. It's full length. This beautiful, beautiful fabric. And then it goes up to the bodice. And it has one shoulder and one drops down. So, um... Very simple, very pretty fabric. Um, it's very pretty. I think it would look lovely on somebody. So if anybody's interested in this, um, I'll sell the whole thing for $10 if anybody wants it. They can let me know. It needs washing. So anyhow, there's that one. Then I found this one, this runner, so it's it's double this one. So I like that. I thought that was very pretty. These are so nicely done. The stitching. Some talent out there. Wow. And then this is a pashmina. And this is what it looks like. I thought it was lovely. So, and then the other part of it is like this. So, I really like this one. Very pretty. Very pretty, pretty pashmina. Then I found a curtain that I thought might be of interest to some of you. Um, it's almost like the cloud one that I had, but it's like this. So I will be cutting pieces of that, of that one as well, so that uh, you can all have a piece of that if you like. There's another cut work piece that I found. Very fall like, very nice. Like that one. Another big piece of fabric that I thought I would, it's quite heavy, make an excellent cover. Just a beautiful cover for a book. So there's enough for several in here, so I will be cutting this up and selling the pieces. So there's lots of, well, not tons, but there's a fair amount of fabric there. Enough for a few books anyway. Then there's this curtain top, and I just love this fabric. So I got one. There was more, but I just got one. I just don't want tons of fabric left. So I will be taking this apart and uh, putting that into bundles as well. Very pretty. I love that one. Then I found these. No, oh, that's... This one's the right side. Anyway, there's one, two, three, four, five. Five of them. Yeah. And it's this is lovely fabric. And then it's got a beautiful trim on the edge. 
and then the embroidery is well done. So okay, this one is backwards, but uh, I don't know what they were meant to be because they're, you know, the the top is like this, and then they have the rounded bottom. So honestly, I'm stumped. I don't know what they were making out of it, but. Uh, I like the fabric, so I picked them up. So, um, I'm going quickly because there's a fair amount here. This is another one. Very pretty for the fall. Double this length. So I picked that up as well. Um, this is a pair of Pillow shams. Again, this fabric is so pretty and this is so soft. You could just, it's just soft. I love whatever this fabric is. I love it. Anyway, there's two of those and they have a nice yellow contrast on the back. So the fabric is nice. So there's two of those, which I will be cutting up for the fabric, I assume. Then I found this um, cut work. Um, pillow sham. And... I have to take this thing apart here. And this is the center of it. It's very pretty, isn't that nice? So, so there will be that one. I have a lot of this type of thing that I need to get up on the site. Oh, you aren't going to believe this one. This is a heart-shaped pillow form, and this is um, tatting. It's all done with tatting. Amazing. Beautiful, 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 beautiful tatting. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this one yet, but I just love it. Love tatting. Probably because it's so much work goes into it. Then I also found this. Um, somebody had done all this work. You have to fold it and then you fold it again. And it's the way you fold it that makes all of these. And it's sort of poofy like those. I don't know what it's called, but. I just, uh, there was only one, this piece, and there's so much work done into it that I thought, oh, somebody will like this. So I picked that up. Um, I picked up some doilies, but there was a lot of doilies that were not very nice. So I didn't get them today. But I did pick up some. There's a couple here. Um, and that was all together, this pile. These ones are like. And then I found this um, apron because I like the teacups on it. So that's why I picked that up. I think it's been around a for a while. I haven't seen this fabric in a long time. So it could be somewhere else, but I haven't seen it. So anyway, it's a little faded, but I really like it. So I love the teacups on it. Um, this fabric, it feels like sandpaper. It's really bizarre to feel. Back side isn't as bad, but this side is rough. But there's a fair amount of it. It's a neat color. 
it's very sparkly so it can go into that um the fancy fabrics when i cut them up hopefully somebody will be interested in that uh, i hope so anyway oops i actually dropped what i was looking for here there's another pashmina this one has no sparkle on it but it's very nice it would be really warm to put over your shoulders especially for those of you that live in warmer climates if you just wanted something for the evening um it would work here in the summertime at night um I found some what I call hippie curtains. These are all hand um, knit. They've been around a little while. They've yellowed a bit. They need, you know, washing, but I'm not going to wash them. Um, I think these are really neat on windows. This piece has the curtain backing already sewn on it but it's not terribly well done but you know a lot of people like the well i don't know what you call them but i've always called them hippie curtains so um that's what i'm called no. um found a couple of these i like the patterns in this as well so they will come up at some time, some point. Um, another tissue box cover, and this one's in eyelet. Very pretty. Another scarf. This one is from Roots, and I like it because it's pink and it's very shabby very pretty i really like that one and we have a big orange or not orange peach big peach doily very nice just like that then i have a big pink doily and a little pink doily so those were kind of nice. Like I said, I passed up probably 20 doilies today because they just weren't that nice. Um, here's a couple more. This one is falling apart, so and it needs washing. So it's great for somebody who just wants to cut it up. So there's that one. And there's one of these. And this lovely green one. And then this one. I like this one. The, uh, I like the pink. And it, and even with the green, it's, it's really, it's unique. I like it. So. Then I found this dress. And I had no intentions on buying another dress, but I did. Um, this one is a sari, or whatever they're called. I, sorry. Safia, if I'm saying it wrong, I'm sorry. But, um, very pretty. Very, very pretty. This is the front. And this gathers there. And then... This one has a distinct odor to it. So it's going to go outside for a bit. And, and this is the front of that. So, very pretty. Goes up to the shoulders and then down on both sides. And such a pretty color. Such a pretty, pretty, pretty pink. Pinky peach. I don't even know what that color is called, but I really like it. it. Used to be my one of my mother's favorite colors. 
Um, picked up this little tin. Because you know me, I'm so childish. I love all the baby things. Um, this I picked up in the senior store. Because it looked to me like they were... I'm not sure what these are. But I think they're crystals. Anyway, these ones are green, and there's purple ones in there, and some orange, I think. And then what else is in here? Um, I haven't, this is the first time I opened it, so um, some dark green, and... It's just called diamonds. Can anybody tell me what these are and what they are used for? These have all been opened. White ones and red and black and gold and brown and blue. Oh, this might be for that um, stuff that Annie's doing the uh, painting, whatever it is. Yeah, where you put these little bits on. That's what it is. It's leftovers from that. So, anyway, if anybody wants these colors, I've got a bunch. See, of those. There's quite a bit here. And then these ones are all sparkly. These ones would be really neat. But anyway, and the little doomahickeys that you use with them. And some numbers to put on the pages, I guess. Anyway, if anybody's interested in that, for extra colors. I'm sure my artsy friends would be able to use these for something. I don't know, but they will let me know, I hope. Anyway, there's that pack. Then I found this little cutie. Isn't she sweet? Look at her. Oh, Look at the hat and the hair. She's beautiful. Porcelain doll, it just says. And she's got even, she's got lacy feet even. So sweet. Love this one. Anyway, love her hat. So cute. So she's going to sit here on the teddy bears. Then... And uh, some bags of um, buttons. And I know I have friends that like to receive buttons. So if I see these and they look pretty good, I pick them up for people. Because I know they're not that easy always to come by. And these could be really old. Because they've just rebagged them when they came into the thrift store. And then there was a bunch of bags of this, these white ones. But I only picked up one of these. I have a ton of these myself. But, you know, so I didn't buy these for me. I picked up this blouse and unfortunately it is not going to fit me. It is an extra large, it says. It's an extra large. But it's not big enough in the shoulders for me. I have football arms. But I love the neck on it. I love this type of neck that's on this shirt. And then it's got long sleeves. Um, you know, that you can roll up with the thing. And it's 
it's just very pretty. I just thought it was gorgeous, but uh, it won't fit me. So if anybody's interested, and it is, it says it's a 3XL, but there's no way. Um, maybe a 1X, maybe, or an extra large. Maybe an extra large. It's got epaulets on the shoulders, too. But, um, so I paid three fifty for this one. So if anybody wants it, let me know. It's so pretty. I'm really disappointed that it doesn't fit. And I think it's such a nice shirt. I don't want to cut it up. <sighs> Here is another scarf that I picked up that I thought was so sparkly and fun. Love the colors in it. I thought that was kind of fun. And then this one I picked up at the seniors. And this one has a tag on it still. And it says, uh, vintage recycled saris are used in the making of these garments. Uh, collected from households in, the, in India, in trade. Um, and then they make up these. So it's a good idea because it lightens the footprint on earth. And you get a beautiful, and this is one of those done in the round. And so this is all silk. So all done with sari silk. So I thought that was a really neat scarf. And there's, you know, a fair amount to it. Lots of color. But kind of fun. Then I found a couple of little doilies with roses on there we go there's two exactly like that then i found some fabric in there that they these are obviously pieces that they have in the stores for you to look at there's this one and this one love these samples fabric samples and i have a ton of fabric samples that are not taken out of the books yet but one of those jobs that i need help to do here's some of the jacobean 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 anyway and these feel like they have uh, a coating on them. But neat fabrics nonetheless. Love this one. Absolutely love this one. And then there's another colorway in this one. And then this one, another colorway. Very pretty. Really enjoyed those. And then this one. And then there's this again. This one, and so, and then there's this one. And this, and I love this one. And this one. And then there was a package of uh, quilters. Glitter and Sparkle, it's inkjet printable transparent sheets. So once I get a printer, I will be laughing. So I picked that up. And two more bags. I picked this one up. It's just got roses in it and a big peony. Silk flowers somebody's bouquet and then I picked up this bag and it's got two of these wooden boxes in it and, and some scarf on balls but um, these are really handy plus they make really cute um, things to hold miniatures anyway so I think that is it so that
that is my thrift haul for today. So thank you all for watching. These things will be up for sale on Nanny's Attic by Nola on Facebook. And I'd love it if you drop by and join join in. Some awesome, awesome people in this group. They're just super duper. So thank you all for watching and uh, I hope you watch again. So everybody have a wonderful day and we will talk to you soon. Bye now.